Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hello everybody, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Well, recently the Endocrine Society held their annual conference in San Francisco. One of the things that came out of that conference was some research that uh, intrigued us greatly. It's called Opti 101. It is a very important and potentially very powerful peptide. And we're gonna tell you how they have put this together and what they think this can ultimately do toward achieving a complete cure for type one diabetes. Now it is in the early stages, but nonetheless, it is very fascinating technology. We have the whole story. Hit the like and subscribe button. That helps us to get this important information out to more people around the globe. Now let's find out what this is all about. Opti 101. Exciting breakthrough in type one diabetes treatment. The recent early clinical results featuring OPT-101, a novel small peptide that modulates CD40 on 40 cells, were unveiled on July 22, 2025, during a late-breaking session at the Endocrine Society's Endo 2025 meeting in San Francisco. What happened and what OPT-101 does? Mechanism OPT-101 is a small peptide, not a monoclonal antibody, that binds CD40 on T40 helper T cells. Specialized inflammatory T cells driving beta cell destruction in T1D. It modulates CD40 signaling, lowering harmful inflammation without killing the cells. Key results by end of dosing. Reduced inflammatory markers. Both doses significantly lowered fractions of T40 cells, IFN guai and TNFA, compared to placebo. Increased C peptide. Some participants who had no measurable insulin production at baseline regained detectable C peptide, showing partial beta cell function despite being 11 to 13 years post-diagnosis. Improved A1C, two high A1C participants, 10%, dropped below eight. Others maintained or improved levels to below 7%. Why it matters. Restoring insulin production, regaining C-peptide years after diagnosis, challenges the belief that beta cells are completely gone in long-standing T1D. New immunotherapy class, OPT-101 is a first-in-class CD40 modulator, technically an NSAID-like small peptide, offering precision control of inflammation without broad immune suppression. Potential paradigm shift. If larger trials validate these findings, this could represent the first targeted disease-modifying treatment for established T1D, not just prevention. What's next? Bigger trials. Phase two trials are needed to confirm safety, refine dosing, and assess long-term efficacy. Patient subsets, it will be key to identify which patients, based on duration, residual beta cell mass, and inflammation levels, benefit most. Durability, will gains in C-peptide and A1C hold long-term? Can OPT-101 slow disease progression or even partially reverse it? Who is developing OPT-101 for type 1 diabetes? OPT-101 is an experimental small peptide therapy developed by OPT LLC, co-founded by Dr. David H. Wagner, University of Colorado, aiming to modulate immune inflammation in long-standing type 1 diabetes. How is OPT-101 unique? Unlike many therapies focused on early-onset T1D, OPT-101 demonstrated activity in long-duration T1D, including patients over a decade post-diagnosis, a group with typically undetectable C-peptide. It's an immune-modulating peptide, not a monoclonal antibody, aiming to neutralize inflammation without cell destruction. Additional context, other T1D therapies in development. While OP101 targets immune inflammation, several other innovative programs are pursuing different approaches. CRISPR therapeutics via site Vertex. Investigational gene-edited beta cell replacement therapies, such as CTX211 and VCTX211, using hypoimmune stem cell-derived beta cells, potentially avoiding chronic immunosuppression in cell transplant recipients. Phase 2 trials in humans are underway, estimated to be completed by August 2025. 
Genprex, University of Pittsburgh collaboration, developing GPX002, a gene therapy using AAV vectors to deliver genes into pancreatic ducts, transforming alpha cells into insulin-producing beta-like cells. Encouraging preclinical data in mice and non-human primates have been reported, and the company is planning human trials. These programs are each addressing T1D through different mechanisms, immune modulation, OPT101, cell therapy, gene therapy, and Genprex's GPX002. In summary, OPT101 is being developed by Opti LLC, Dr. Wagner, focusing on immune modulation and long-standing type 1 diabetes. Completed Phase 1B in early 2024, with promising reductions in inflammation and some restoration of C-peptide. A Phase 2A study is currently underway with a subcutaneous formulation, evaluating the longer-term effects over one year. Other companies, Vertex, Viacite, CRISPR, and Genprex are working on alternative strategies, stem cell-based replacement and gene therapy, but OPT101 is distinct as a peptide-based immunomodulator. Type 1 diabetes is excited to showcase the numerous therapies under development. One of these, or a combination, is going to deliver the final cure for this disease. What's your opinion, Jim? Well, there you have it, some fascinating science. It's called OPT101. It is an immune modulating peptide. The idea is to curtail or kill off the uh, inflammation without hurting cells. The idea is also that this is designed to help people who have had diabetes for 10 years or more. They believe that there are still functional cells and that they can stimulate C-peptide, which is an indicator of insulin production in your pancreas. So this looks very promising. It, uh, they are moving, hopefully, into phase two clinical trials here fairly soon. It's nothing that's going to be around in the next year or two, but nonetheless, it's another fascinating technology uh, toward trying to find a cure for T1D. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. We always love to hear from you. And we'll have another exciting video for you here on everything type one diabetic. And uh, we'll have that for you in just a few days. So until then, be well. Talk later. Bye-bye.